Cause I love a dope eye there when I write to you I said I knew face then My skills start doubling up like scoop face A suitcase and a back selling But there's no way I live as far from primitive I spar with the women and find you Let you kill a few Look at the ships Kill a few homes on the court Don't kill them off Make it draw by God Check it out, grab your bucket Come walk to the public pump with me for water We barefoot, barebark, huh? It can't get no harder, harder for the day, we plot a getaway to leave and prepare to take an ass with the time it's which we get back this evening. We've been gone all day, ball all the way, had enough work to do, but we fall prey to play. But hey, school closed for the summer. This how I come up. No, I was in a banner in the past. I was in a gunner, last son of my sons and one of my seven children. Who oh, fuck with me? Lucky if one of my brothers didn't really try to uh, kill them. But I never did want for no attention. My man them nothing like me. Fuck them, I didn't friend them. Clap out out to the rocky yard is all we had for real. No government check, no government. Cheers, just a bill, eight million rumors, but the Haitian they but soupy cooking puppies in the bottoms, no lights and saw the mites, they off it up because man to man is so unjust. Soft, the yard they robbing us the Mali busting off 24-7 every day, all day. Huh? Here's the sounds, even the day reggae play or the party closed down. Oh, I can't. Ooh, reality. This is my dude from like forever, son. And he you know when we do hip-hop, we do hip-hop. Read. Let the people know who you are and how long you've been doing this music thing. Oh, who am I? Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> On the real. I've been doing it for a minute, man, but I'm out the game now. Um, still into the music as an artist, out the game. Uh, I have no problem pushing artists, as, you know, aspiring artists is trying to do it. I can identify with their struggles, so there's no problem. All right, but me personally, personally... The type of hip hop that I am into is dead. I am sorry, it's dead. Okay, I need you to elaborate on that because I, 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 yeah, I, I, I disagree. I totally disagree. From from the internet, from the international and indie perspective, the music that I'm getting, the music that comes across my airwaves, that go in your ear hole, no, it's not dead. It's just that, it's just that the music that's being pushed on mainstream. Is effing up the game for everybody else that's got talent. So people don't appreciate genuine and authentic hip hop, and that's why we're doing the IMC Clash because we bring in we bring in the music back. Oh, don't forget Zulu Nation and Temple of Hip Hop co-signs IMC Clash. Okay, so tell me why you feel that the hip hop industry in itself or the music that you like is dead. Well, actually, I, I actually agree with you. I actually agree with you. The music that I'm pushing, I'm on radio, that type of hip-hop is dead. All right? So, no, no, for real, for real. No, when I said hip-hop is dead, I was speaking in that aspect right there. You know, the commercial hip-hop would be getting on the radio now because hip-hop is so big now. So, you know, the commercial hip-hop was playing right now. That ain't hip-hop, you know? So, the indies, I could appreciate that type of stuff. I have to go and I listen to... Oh, uh, tech Radio Cast. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, Radio Cast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. But I mean, you know, that's the type of cats you got to listen to now because, you know, you got to do, you got to listen to people who are doing it from the heart and it ain't all about the money, you know, the commercial part of it, you know. Tech Nine, these are the type of people I listen to right new now. OB Trice I, I, is ridiculous. That o new OB, OB Trice, Trice is dope. OB Trice is dope. nice, you know. And one battle of my, Cry? And that one new of battle my favorites. Cry? I like OB Trice. Not one of my favorites, okay. but he good. But um, I was speaking in the aspect of the commercial hip hop. I work in radio right now, so I had the Matrix. All right, I, I am in the Matrix. Yeah, so I had to make that distinction between what I love and my job. And it, okay, it so your really job, difficult. your job does not echo or does not carry the same sentiments of your your passion no. and your love. No, Hell and no. and what would you do? Like, what would be the ideal situation for you? as a DJ or personality when it comes to dealing with the music aspect of it. But the music? Well, if I had my way, I would have my own station, and it would not be for monetary use, all right? If I was a millionaire and I could open up a station, you know, one of my, I always do club promotions. I always do club promotions. I do, I do club promotions to make money. I wish I was rich enough to do club promotions in which I could just highlight some real hip hop, but I can't take that chance. Y'all mm. want to give me some money? Let's do some real hip hop shows. I, I, <laughs> I feel like I feel like, and this is this is what, where it comes 
Five years ago when I started DI Radio Cast, I reached out to Re, right? And I said, yo, I'm about to start this, I'm about to start this internet jump off. I would love for you to be a part of it because initially that's where I got my inspiration. Like I would not do radio or be a personality or even be into the music if Re didn't go ahead and say, No mind Africa, you need to do this, blah blah blah, you sound good, blah blah blah. So this right here is my inspiration. Uh, is that is that what y'all call lotioning? I just put a whole tub She's of baby oil <laughs> on this. <laughs> I don't even go in lotion, boy. I did like a baby know. oil. <laughs> but Stop liking me. <laughs> No, that's kind of ironic, though, because you and you going in a different direction than I am now. You know, I was encouraging you to do the radio thing, but now you're doing your radio thing, but it's different from my radio thing. I'm doing commercial radio, and, you know, I respect the type of radio you're doing. But me, you know, I got kids to feed. I got I got to put a roof over my head. You know, it's just the radio that I'm doing is a job for me. Not that I don't like it. I love it, of as course. a matter of fact. But I had to make that distinction between my job and what I love, what I'm passionate about. When I first started, you know, even at 94, me and the station owners, we used to get into it because I was like, listen, this is what real hip hop is. Not as Damn. if they didn't know, because, you know, they were a part of the production company. We were all under the umbrella, but they was focused on the money, of all right? Course. Because that's as, their radio station. Up, you realize right. that so it was... I had to, yeah, and it was painful, because, you know, I was like, man, let's play some of this. And it was like, no, this what this what's selling. This what people want here. This what radio sound like. This what conventional radio sound like. This what we need to do. So I had to learn how to separate that and understand where they were coming from because they doing it for the money. Same thing with the station where I work. You know, they doing it for the they, you know. This a private radio station. They need to make money. It's a of business. Course. So you know, I got to respect. So that. where's it's my where's, job. where's 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 the like? There has to be a, a meeting point. There has to be some way where you can bring you can bridge both gaps because. I know that you um you recently said that that the DJs on the network now where you are are just starting to play um, traditional or, or or classic hip hop. Big shout out to the founders, Zulu Nation, definitely in the building. The I Radio Cast, Temple of Hip Hop. You already know. Yeah, I am gotta respect clash. the architects. So I mean, you know, you're saying that that they're starting to play. How does that make you feel? Does that at least give you some kind of hope that that yeah, because, you know, initially it was like, well, we know only a few cats out there to get it if we play the old school stuff. But the more you play it, the more you educate them so they'll become familiar with it. So they could appreciate it the more and more you play it. And you play the classics over and over, they could appreciate it more. So I'm glad that the DJs are taking and playing more of the old school hip hop and the younger cats could get. Because, you know, they take it back to the essence and a lot of the cats were so interested is they like, oh, that's where this so-and-so got this from. Oh, that's where so-and-so, oh, that's why Jay-Z be saying this line, you know. And now they understand, you know, they could get a full appreciation of, um, of the music, you know. So what do you see your role as um, a hip hop historian here in the Bahamas? Like, what, what role do you play? in putting the music out? Basically, I have, a, for the most part, I have already played my role. <laughs> I ain't got no work to do. <laughs> All right? I, 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 yeah, I did a lot of work. A lot of it I was appreciated for. A lot of it I wasn't. You know, it don't make a difference to me because I loved what I did. You know, and I loved, loved. Like the past tense. That sounds no, like a past No, no. What I'm saying is I love what I was doing. Okay. All right, but I still have love for the music, so you know, it, it, it's cool. Oh, I'm back. Shout out on the liquor shop for my natural the indica and nothing be similar. It's really be into hot and winter temperature overseas. We be killing them seas, chilling in trees and building kites in the breeze. Tears be the to figure to rip up the show, hit you with the flow. Did it get you sick? Then split with your No, this ain't the poetry to try test. Here you pay the same the flavor that readers can digest. I might just stop the pull of style off the top of the skull just cause it ain't no obstacle and it ain't possible true job unstoppable for the new yard yard this is now look who